Good morning, folks. We're looking at Popo in Mexico, just one of the volcanoes going off on Earth right now. This one is always a great sight to see. Today we're going to be looking at the solar wind as it is showing space weather impacts at Earth this morning. We've got footage from some of the worst weather around the world as well, but we're going to begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, taking a look at the massive set of coronal holes coming around for its third pass by Earth-facing longitudes. Not much eruptive activity, but we do have a sizable transequatorial plasma filament incoming on the eastern limb. Solar flaring is currently a non-issue as there are no sunspots right now, but the solar wind is the story. The CME we expected to hit came about 24 hours late, but remember that's a double-edged sword as the longer we waited for the impact, the weaker it would be, but the closer in time it could be to another impact from the speedy stream of these coronal holes. As we wait for the impact number two, we are without geomagnetic storms, but our shield is not handling the plasma stream very well and allowing penetration events over Europe. While I would not expect much more than magnetospheric instability from the CME impact, if the coronal hole hits today as well, we're likely to see storm conditions. Let's come back down to Earth where flights were canceled due to Mount Rinjani's eruption yesterday. Quakes taking a breather and letting the volcano steal the show here once again. It's Popo in Mexico having eruptive activity as well. Eyes open for more activity beneath our feet, but also above our heads. That Caribbean system was deadly in the Dominican Republic, and it is set to race across the islands towards the Yucatan. This is Typhoon Nita over the port of Hong Kong. The city was ready as it essentially shut down in preparation. Luckily, it appears the worst of the damage will be the standard storm cleanup there, although as it weakens in strength, it doesn't stop the downpours, which now present major flash flood concerns inland. This is the scene in Vietnam. A tornado ripped through at the end of the weekend. It came fast, it came hard, and then just like that, it was gone. And yeah, that's a person in the middle of the road. Anyway, coming back to the Americas, we need Hawaii to maintain alerts as well with not one but two systems set to rush over that way in the coming days. The far northern low in central Canada will be tonight's top alert, however, in this area with the south bending convergence line into the U.S. that could deliver strong storms tonight from the monsoon areas in the southwest up to the midwest and across the border. Folks, we'd love a quick jump over to spaceweathernews.com slash challenge so you can see the update kicking into a higher gear this week, and maybe even today if I can get out your latest Deeper Look episode on planetary geometry. Got a situation to watch for at the end of the month. Anyway, we've got pressure and radar forecasts across the globe, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes on the storms and the solar wind today. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.